Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel today. We are going to be reviewing this 114 scale off-road RC truck. It is a 14 scale and it is 3S compatible. Now, according to MJX, this is their, I guess, partner company, which does a bunch of modified RC cars. Yeah, I'll leave a link in the description where you can pick one up. Now, before we dive right into it, guys, I want to say a massive congratulations to Brent, the winner of the previous raffle. He has won the gigantic MK. 07 crawl up from Rilalo. So that is on the way to you very shortly, dude. Thanks for entering. It really helps out the channel. And don't worry, guys, there'll be plenty more in the future. Taking a look at the box real quick, you can see it's 14 scale. It is 3S, got LEDs and suspension. A 3S, 45 amp ESC, brushless motor, and a 2.2 kilogram servo. I am kind of curious to see what the difference is between this and the actual MJX itself. It does come with two body styles as well as some chassis protectors. And that's about it. Let's crack it open. With everything out of the box, we have a wheelie bar, spare drive shaft, spare arms and springs, charger and tools, a lot of spare body clips, what appears to be some hinge pins and wheel nuts, quite a large 3S 2000 milliamp hour battery, the radio, instruction manual, stickers, and of course those chassis protectors and the spare body. It's not every day that you see a RC brand include all these kind of spares, and I do like to see that. So congratulations, guys. Congratulations. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So well done to Jetwood. It is a, a nice touch. I will say this car looks absolutely awesome. I actually like the purple body shell on One it. One of the first things I noticed undoing that body shell is man, look at those batteries. They, <laughs> they are probably uh, excessively big. I don't know what the hell you feed him, but he is too damn big. As you can see, this is a 2000, this is a 2000 milliamp hour 3S battery, as well as this is a 2000 milliamp hour 3S battery. Besides that small gripe about the battery, the car overall appears to have some nice quality materials, plastics, metals, as well as the steering acumen is made out of aluminium. Here, of course, is your 3S ESC, as well as your 3S brushless motor. The wheels appear to be nice nice and soft, I think they're gonna be very grippy. I'm probably gonna do a lot of backflips. Chassis is aluminium. The rear bumper appears to be extremely soft. The front bumper actually feels pretty good. Got the center chassis brace, which I love to see. And what appears to be a pretty decent beefy wing mitt. Now I'm not sure if the front shocks are overfilled with oil as the actual shock appears to stop there. Kind of feels like it's bottoming out. I don't know if that is a design feature or if it's a design flaw, but the rear doesn't seem to suffer from this as it goes all the way to the ground and feels quite soft. Now the car on, you'll see the very bright Jetwood logo but there is a Jetwood logo there. The servo is fast, throttle. And with the body on, you do get this rear LED, which again is also turned off like the front light. Fortunately, guys, I didn't get to review the MJX 114 scale of this RC car, just this Jetwood, so I can't exactly give you a direct comparison. However, what I can do is link both in the description for you guys to check out for yourselves. All right guys, so just to let you know, to get full power out of this thing, you are gonna to need to set the radio to 100%, but not just that. After you turn it on, you need to press this red button five times. You'll hear a little sound, and now that allows it full power. So we're gonna hit track, start. Yeah, let's go, baby. See how fast we get. So this is essentially full throttle out of the box, but without enabling full throttle from the ESC. So, not very fast, I can tell you that right now, but we are, I can't believe I just slipped it. That has to be my earliest walk of shame. That is flat out. Man, it's still fast, even like this. Let's go find out how fast. Okay guys, so this speed may just be something that you might want to use for the kids. So let's hit stop and read and we went 32 miles an hour that's actually still really fast if it in kilometers 51 kilometers an hour again that's still pretty good however it does claim 73 kilometers an hour or 46 miles per hour so let's enable this speed or oh, now it just pops wheelies i can understand why they included the wheelie bar <laughs> i think that's enough room let's get it that's full Oh, walk of shame number two. Man, it's faster. It does roll over a bit, I will say that. <laughs> I 
It is a lot of fun though. Speed time. Read. 66 kilometers an hour, not quite 73. And in miles per hour, that is 41. Again, not quite 46. However, I think in the right conditions, we'd probably be able to get a little bit more out of it. Best time to come to the skate park is when it's about to rain. <laughs> I will say the handling on this kind of leaves a lot to be desired. I think it has a lot to do with the dip fluid. I think it needs to have a bit of a thicker dip fluid. <laughs> okay, I just sent it from here over this roof and down and it didn't break. And then I jumped off here and it broke and I didn't record it. Okay guys, conclusion. I think it's a good RC car. I think it's fast. However, I think when it comes to durability, it's probably average. I think the durability seems okay, but it's definitely not made for a skate park. Then again, no RC car really is, nor should that be the determining factor on what is classified as durability. And this is what happens when you drive an already broken car and you slam it into a rail, it will break. So you're coming up from here, when you accelerate, you can then pretty much punch it and it does hold straight, that's fine. However, when it comes to turning, however, when it actually comes to turning and putting the accelerator down even a little bit whilst you're turning, the overall handling is pretty below par in my opinion, but I think it has a lot to do with the diffs and the diff fluid. A good car, but I do think there's better for the money, but links will also be in the description if you want to check them out. <laughs> I'm sorry this video ended so abruptly and it was kind of a short video, but I did get one out. And if you guys have been checking out the community post, we just got this awesome RC kind of lawnmower thing. It's pretty much a robotic lawnmower. Plus a few other cool things coming to the channel. Stay tuned. Anyways guys, I love you all. Peace out. Bye.